This was the scene after the crash. James Lockwood lives nearby and saw it happen. He saw a police cruiser with lights flashing, but no sirens. I see some lights come flying, flashing down Spadina towards 33rd Street real fast, uh, which caused me to have a look like, whoa, what's going on? Just as I'm doing that, some mask rang, bang. There's a car that's probably turning left to go home from work. And she basically T-bones the Civic and pushes it 30 feet over towards the river bank. Lockwood threw on his jeans and sandals and ran out to help. He went to the police SUV first. I'm trying to open it up and it's not opening real well, but she says she's okay. I look at the other car, it's just smashed. I'm like, well, I better get over there. I go over there, one, pa one passenger's, the passenger guy's out, like what happened? And then the person who was driving is in the car, unresponsive, like not breathing. And uh, so I'm just saying, hello, hello, breathe, breathe, breathe. You know, can you hear me? Lockwood says that the man started breathing again, but that it took the jaws of life to get him out of the wreck. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Saskatoon.